Hey guys, welcome back as we continue with our student loan repayment series at Diamond Nest Egg. I'm Jennifer, money coach, personal finance guru, and student loan expert to Gen Zers and young millennials. With interest rates at an all-time low, refinancing student loans is something that we're helping many of our clients with at the moment. Refinancing can help you pay off your student loans faster by decreasing your interest rate and therefore your monthly payment. Most of our clients have six-figure student loan debt, and on average, we're able to save them about $200 to $300 every month with student loan refinancing, depending on their loan balance and repayment schedule. In this week's video, you'll learn the five reasons why Common Bond is one of our favorite student loan refinancing lenders. Next week, we'll be comparing the two other lenders that we use most often. So if refinancing student loans and saving, investing, and retirement are top of mind for you, if getting on the path toward a debt-free, financially free life is what you're after, hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell. We hear every Sunday with the latest and greatest money moves from New York. So the first reason we're common bond fans is because of their very competitive interest rates. There are two parts to every loan. The first part is the principal, which is the amount of money you borrow from your lender. The second part is the interest, which is what you pay your lender for borrowing their money. This is usually expressed as a percentage of the principal and what we refer to as the interest rate. So say, for example, you borrow $10,000 for school at an interest rate of 5%. The principal would be $10,000, and on the most basic level, you would be paying the bank $500 every year in interest. This interest is what you pay the bank for the right to borrow that money. It has absolutely no impact and will not reduce the $10,000 of principal you borrowed initially. As of this taping, Common Bond's lowest rate is 1.99%, one of the best in the market. Of course, rates can change regularly, so it's worth doing a rate check on the Common Bond website to see where things are right now. You'll have to put in some personal information, including your address, the amount you owe, where you work, and your social security number. And don't worry, checking your rate like this does not hurt your credit score in any way, and it doesn't obligate you to do anything further with Common Bond. I've included a link for the rate check in the description below this video. So have you refinanced lately or are you thinking about refinancing? Is there perhaps a particular lender you like or that you would recommend? We're always looking for great recommendations. Drop us a comment below and let us know. Once you have your rates, you'll have to decide whether you want to refinance into a loan with a fixed interest rate or variable interest rate or perhaps a hybrid interest rate, which is the second reason we love Common Bond, the fact that they offer loans with hybrid interest rates. Most other lenders only give you the option of loans with a fixed interest rate or variable interest rate. In our opinion, hybrid loans allow you to combine the best of both worlds when it comes to fixed versus variable interest rates. For loans with a fixed interest rate, also known as fixed rate loans, the interest rate and monthly payments stay the same for as long as you have the loan. Fixed rate loans are usually the safer, more predictable bet, especially if you're big on budgeting. The fixed monthly payments means there's no surprises at all. You know that you're paying the same amount month after month, no matter what happens, until the loan is completely paid off. There are two downsides though to fixed rate loans. The first is that the interest rates on these loans are typically higher than loans with variable interest rates. The second is that you might miss out on potential savings if interest rates go down at some point. Most people consider refinancing into a fixed rate loan when they believe interest rates are low, as they are now, and will most likely increase in the future. Folks that don't expect to pay off their student loans for quite some time also tend to go for fixed rate loans because of the certainty of payments. 
For loans with a variable interest rate, also known as variable rate loans, the interest and monthly payment can change over time, sometimes monthly or quarterly, depending on your loan contract and economic conditions. The pros, variable rate loans often start off with a lower interest rate than fixed rate loans. And if interest rates don't rise too much, you could end up saving some money. But having said that, variable rate loans are a bit of a gamble. If interest rates do rise significantly, you'll generally end up paying more on your variable rate loan than your fixed rate loan. The two other disadvantages to variable rate loans include these. One, unpredictable monthly payments. And two, the possibility that the number of monthly payments will change as the rate changes. Most of the people that refinance with a variable rate loan generally expect interest rates to go down or they expect to be able to pay off their loans aggressively and quickly enough before interest rates start rising again. Do you have a preference for a fixed rate versus variable rate loan? Let us know in the comments below. This is where Common Bond's unique hybrid loan comes in. Common Bond's 10-year hybrid loan combines a fixed interest rate and a variable interest rate on the same loan. The first five years will have a fixed interest rate, and after that, the loan will switch over to a variable interest rate. And with Common Bond, you can pay off your loan ahead of time without penalty. Choosing to pay off your loans early can save you a lot of money in interest. Many lenders will penalize you for early payments. Common Bond will not do this. And according to Common Bond, the hybrid loan is best for borrowers who intend to pay off their loan earlier than planned while still taking advantage of predictable monthly payments. So in the first five years, you could get a lower fixed rate on a hybrid loan than you would on a normal or traditional fixed rate loan. And if you can pay off your balance within the first five years, you'll save money on interest and never have to deal with the uncertainty of a variable rate in the second five years. Given that student loan interest rates are currently near historic lows, if you're unsure which rate to choose and you like knowing exactly how much your payments will be every month, it may be best to go with the hybrid or fixed rate loan. However, if you're okay with taking a bit of a risk and banking that interest rates will go down even further and help you pay off your student loans even faster, consider the variable rate. And for those of you in dentistry, medicine, or law, be sure to ask Common Bond about any special discounts that may apply to your profession. Listen, I know that refinancing your student loans, especially if you have a lot of them, can be super confusing. We do this day in and day out with our clients and know the peace of mind they get when we're there to guide them through the process. If you have questions or feel overwhelmed by the sea of options, which happens very often, it's completely normal, I encourage you to email us at hello at diamondnestic.com to set up a student loan strategy session and see if we can help you narrow down all your choices. Moving on now to the third reason that Common Bond is one of our preferred student lenders, and that's because of their 24-month forbearance period, should you ever hit hard economic times. No one wants to think about losing their job or not being able to work for a while for whatever reason. But if this does happen to you and your financial situation does take a turn for the worse, it's good to know that your lender has your back. If you find yourself struggling to make payments, Common Bond gives you the most time to get back on your feet financially. They'll let you postpone payments for up to 24 months via forbearance. That's twice the industry standard of 12 months. Now, before making a decision on the refinancing process, you need to figure out how much you can actually afford to put towards your student loan payments each month. Download our popular financial guide. In there, there's a budgeting template and you can figure all this out. There's a link in the description below this video. You can also take a look at these videos here, which walk you through how to start saving smarter and stash away a bit more every month. 
either to put towards your debt payment, towards your emergency fund, or perhaps other savings buckets in your life. The fourth big reason why we work with Common Bond regularly is that they give our clients the option of cosigner release. If your income is not quite steady enough or your credit history is a bit less than stellar, adding a cosigner that does have a steady income or a good credit history to your refinancing application could improve your chances for approval and help you get lower rates. Besides your income and credit history, there are a few other things that lenders look for when deciding whether or not to approve you for refinancing. Take a look at our student loan series here to see what these factors are. These videos also walk you through the most common mistakes to avoid when refinancing your student debt and what you should consider before refinancing federal student loans. Going back to Common Bond's option of cosigner release, be sure that you and your cosigner are comfortable sharing this debt together because your cosigner will be on the hook for this debt if you can't make your monthly loan payments. Many lenders do not allow refinancing with a cosigner, and those lenders that do allow applications with cosigners do not allow you to release your cosigner. This means if you apply to refinance a loan over 10 years with mom, with dad, or with your partner as a cosigner, they will be a cosigner for the entire lifetime of the loan. They'll be responsible financially for the whole 10 years if you don't make your payments on time. With Common Bonds Perk of Loan Cosigner Release though, if you make 36 consecutive on-time monthly payments, you can apply to have your cosigner removed from the loan so that going forward, you'd be the only one responsible for your debt. And now the fifth reason we like Common Bond, and that's because of their social mission. Common Bond partners with nonprofit organization Pencils of Promise to provide schools, teachers, and technology to thousands of young learners in Laos, Nicaragua, Guatemala, and Ghana. When you refinance with them, they promise to cover the cost of a child's education in one of those countries. To date, Common Bond has donated more than $1 million and built over 470 schools through this program. If you want to refinance with a socially responsible company, Common Bond could be the right choice for you. Here's a quick overview of the basic eligibility requirements for refinancing with Common Bond. First, you must be a U.S. citizen or a permanent resident with the proper documentation. Second, you must have graduated with at least a bachelor's degree from an eligible school. Common Bond works with many colleges and universities, but not all of them. Third, you cannot be a resident of Nevada, Idaho, Vermont, or Mississippi. Residents of these states are not eligible for Common Bond loans. And fourth, you must have a minimum credit score of 660 to be approved for refinancing without a cosigner. The easiest and quickest way to check your credit score is via creditkarma.com. I've included a link to Credit Karma in the description below. In addition to these basic requirements, Common Bond will also look at your employment status, income, debt to income ratio, and cash flow to determine if they will approve you for refinancing, as well as to determine the interest rate that you'll get. Here's the video that walks through the top things lenders look at when deciding whether or not to approve you for refinancing. Folks, thanks for watching. We really appreciate your support. If you found this episode helpful, give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and turn on notifications. You'll be notified immediately next Sunday when we'll be back with a comparison of the other two lenders we use most often to refinance our clients' student loans. Also, it really helps with the YouTube algorithm and spreading our financial education efforts to other Gen Zers and young millennials. If you have refinancing questions that you want to speak to a human being about, shoot us an email at hello at or simply hang around and check out the other videos on this channel.